Greetings, salutations. All we got here is today's project. 2006 Honda Element. About 112,000 miles on it. My folks have owned this car since new. With any car that's coming up on about 13 years old, things start to need replacing and fixing. And that is why this driver's side door is open. What we got here today is we got the power window switch right there and the driver's side sticks and I've got a replacement switch and I'm gonna pop this off and put it on this should be a pretty straightforward repair I'm gonna keep this switch and probably do a little cleaning on it and then have this as a backup just in case I bought a used one but a 30-day uh, warranty on it to, uh, to replace this one so it should be pretty straightforward I've got my tools and stuff and uh, we should be able to just pop this in and pop it off real quick so let me get uh, get going here we'll see how it goes okay here's our replacement switch plugs in right there two screws holding it to that thing so this should be a straightforward pop in pop out and uh, like I said this should be pretty quick fix but uh, that's all there is to it so Let's pop off the plastic trim piece and see what we get to look at and see if this is a easy as it looks like it's going to be. Okay, I took the tool, put it down underneath this thing, pop it up, and now you can see it's popped up. Now in theory, you pull this back, and it is a little tricky when I see in the things. You gotta slide this whole thing back and get it to pop off. So let me use both hands here so I don't end up breaking anything. Okay, once you slide it back, you pop it out. And there you go. Now here's our switch we're going to do. There's two screws holding it on. So we'll pop those off and then we'll unplug it. And that's of course your power mirror up there. But pretty, pretty straightforward. So I'm going to get a screwdriver and make sure this thing comes off. As you can see, it comes out. It's a little tab we have to push down on right here to get it to come out of this piece. And now you can see two screws and we'll put our new piece on. Pretty okay. straightforward. I got it off. I was wrong. There's there's two screws down here, and then there's a screw up here. So you got a total of three screws. That's the original switch. She's a little filthy, a little dirty. Of course, she's been in there for good, I don't know, 13 years. So she'll need a good cleaning. I think with a little cleaning and stuff, I think this will still work. Um, so I will keep this as a backup just in case. But if I grab the other replacement one as you can see pretty straightforward so I'll just pop this in real quick and then we'll give it a try and make sure it works and as you can see three screws back on all we gotta do is plug that back in pop it back down and then we'll uh and as sure you can works. see you kind of push it down a little bit slide it all the way forward and the wires back here real close so you got to kind of wiggle it and once you get it down in there you just give it a good bang and it pops everything right back into place like it was brand new. Now, let's tie up the car and see Duh, if it works. We got juice. Let's see if this is going to work. Works good. Now let's see if the auto switch works because you do have to reprogram it sometimes for the auto, but it might just work. Nope. Okay. A guy I watched the video about said you had to do that. What you have to do is you... Okay, get all the way up, all the way down, hold it for two seconds, all the way up, hold it for two seconds, and in theory the auto button should work now. Look at that. Like butter. There you go. That is how you replace the window switch in a 2006 Honda Element. Good times, good times. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next video.